Well, astronomy is more of a topic for our Kansans these days than ever before, it seems. An annual solar eclipse happens this weekend, and we're just six months out from the total solar eclipse, where the natural state is right in the line of totality. Tonight, TH311's Rebecca Brown has more insight on these two major events that has the community looking ahead and up. We are just six months away from witnessing history as our Kansas prepare their eyes to not blink so they don't miss a moment of a total solar eclipse. For all of us, a one in a lifetime experience and so we definitely want to uh, take advantage of that. It sparked the interest among all ages and that's why Jeremy Owa, the superintendent in Jacksonville, says they decided not to have school on April 8th, 2024. When we have these real life experiences happening around us, it's definitely a, a educational moment, a time when we can take and to educate our kids and tell them what to expect, how they can learn from it, what it exactly is. Another reason for letting out was a safety concern. As the eclipse is set to draw millions of people and according to Arkansas Department of Parks, Heritage and Tourism, two thirds of the state will be in the path of totality. We always uh, prefer to be proactive instead of being reactive. I did not want to have all of our kids in school, our students in school and then dismiss and we couldn't get them home. According to Parks and Tourism, they're trying to keep track of how many reservations have been booked for the eclipse. As of right now, 20 of the 21 state parks in the line of the eclipse are sold out and the excitement is real until our Kansas the total solar eclipse making its four minute debut in the natural state is a moment many won't forget. We're coordinating efforts with the other local school districts to actually uh, make this a teachable moment for the entire central Arkansas area. And so we're collaborating on activities as well. In Jacksonville, Rebecca Brown, THV 11 News.